everybody, welcome back. As you can see, we've got Bella here still with us. She's making herself very comfortable and she's a very good stitching companion. <laughs> um, so I wanted to show you how I've been getting on with my flowers. So I've completed this first flower with the long and short, long and short a soft shading in the flowers. Um, so I'm just doing this one. So I thought I'd show you how I've been doing it. So the one, the layer I've already done, that's in a double thread. And then I'm coming back in with a single thread so i'm just going to come up and then down to there Now that I've finished that petal, I'm going to go on and finish the rest of the flowers ready for our next stitch, which I'll be doing tomorrow, which is, and I'll just refer to the, to the book, is we're going on to the French knot stitch again. So we did do this in the last one, but we'll put Philippa's video of how to do it as a reminder because it's one which I went back to watch a lot the last time because I did struggle with this one at first. So I'm definitely going to need a bit of a refresher on that one. So I'll see you tomorrow for that video. French knots with a double thread. This is a really effective, beautiful stitch and work this way, you can dot them around a design without getting that awful tadpole with the tail look. So I'm going to show you my method. I'm sure you have your own method to use French knots, but using wool is a slightly different thing. So try this way and see which way you like best. So I come up on one side of a dot. I always put a dot there so that I know how the size of the area I'm going to work and the proportions. So you come up on one side of the dot and make your French knot and then you're going to go down on the other side of the dot. That's just two or three threads away but it's important not to go down in the same hole because it distorts this method of knotting. So first thing I do is to take my wool with my non-needle hand. Now clearly for left-handers you would work from here and I'll show you the left-handed method in a minute. So for right-handers, you pick up the thread and you hold it so it passes through your hand like that. Don't hold it this way because this loop will get in the way. So hold it through that way, then hold the needle by the eye. Point the eye to the ceiling and pull this wool tightly all the way through this stitch with your wool hand. So take your wool, this is for right-handers, back to your chest and loop it round the needle just once. Then point your needle towards the middle of the room all the way upside down and take the needle point down on the other side of the dot marked on the linen. Push your needle in about a quarter of the way and as you do this, you'll see that my wool hand is holding the wool up and to the side at about a 45 degree angle. Now, from this position, you then take your ring finger or your second finger and twist your wool hand round so that you can put that finger on top of the wool and then just use that to push the turn in the wool all the way down the needle so it slides down the needle and you'll see it sit on top of the linen. At this stage, it's very tempting to let go of the needle and keep hold of the wool. But if you do, you'll distort your knot. In fact, I could let go with both hands. This knot isn't going anywhere because it's really switched back and fixed very firmly. I continue to hold the needle firmly, but let go with my wool hand and put the wool hand underneath and pull that knot through. Now that has made a knot which is circular and has a shadow in the middle and I think that's how the knots were made in the past because they're most effective on the 17th century embroideries. I'll work another one 
And all you do is just take your thread across the back of the work, come up on one side of a dot, and then pick up your wool again so it passes through your hand and pinch it tightly. Hold the wool away from the linen for three or four inches and keep that wool vertical. Keep your needle still and take your wool round the needle and hold it firmly up and to the side. Now rotate your needle away from you all the way through 180 degrees. Take your needle down on the other side of the marked dot, push it in a little way and stop. Now because I've held my wool high and to the side, you can see that the turn on the needle is up near the eye and that's important because the next thing I'm going to do makes the knot. So what you do, you just take your ring finger, push the wool down with that ring finger just by pushing that excess wool all the way down and this makes a really firm knot and it's the size of this needle. So don't use a skinny needle, you'll get skinny knots. Now take your hand underneath and pull that through. So that knot is exactly the same size as the first knot, circular without a tail and it's going to look the same dotted round this design. French knots left-handed. So bring your needle up and take hold of the wool with your right hand and again take your wool through your hand like that. Don't hold your wool like this because the loop will get in your way. So it must be through your hand and pinch the wool hard with your finger and thumb. I'm holding my wool vertically. Now, the essence of this stitch is that you don't scoop with your needle, you actually keep your needle still and the movement is made with your wool hand. So I'm going to take my wool hand, bring it back to my chest, take it clockwise once around the needle. So that's just one hook around the needle. You don't need to wind it round again, just the once. And then take your needle, turn it all the way upside down and point it into the linen just a few threads away from where you came up. So for me, with this design, it's the other side of the dot I've marked. So push your needle down a little way, so it's about a quarter of the way in through the linen and that makes sure that the needle is at its fattest at the base. Now while I've been doing that I've used my right hand to hold the wool high and to the side and pull it tight. You must keep the tension th throughout this stitch. Now rotate your right hand and put your ring finger on top of the wool. Use that finger to push the knot all the way down the needle and that means that the knot is now made. Hold the needle, keep hold of the needle, let go of the wool, put your wool hand underneath and pull the needle through. And that's made actually a better knot than my right-handed. So that's rather nice. Just take it slowly, take it easy, and this knot will happen. We'll do that one again. Bring the needle up, pick up the wool with your right hand, Take the wool around the needle, just wrap it once. Take the needle all the way upside down, holding the wool high and to the side. Push your needle down into the linen just a little way. Keep hold of that needle and keep hold of that wool very firmly. Twist your hand around so your ring finger rests on the wool and use that finger to push that knot down. So I'm pulling and pushing down at the same time. Then keep hold of the needle, put your hand underneath and pull the knot through.